Okay, here's a simple explanation to the 432 question. I've got a tuner here, and I've got sound waves. And I noticed when the shapes pass on here, they correlate perfectly with the scale given in 432. So let's try this. Oh, let me start it over. Okay, that's the extent of the microphone's capacity to record such high frequencies. But let's use a different reference, a chord tuner. <coughs> Start it over. Okay, that's the extent of that microphone's recording capacity. But as you can see, the green light lights up when those uh, patterns form. So, uh, I want to show you what happens when I when I turn it to 440, uh, just in case anyone was wondering. Um, I'm pretty sure you know that they don't. Oops. Let me put that back up there. Let me delete the keys that it struck. Okay, let's see. Four, four, zero. And this, well, that's recalibrated to 440, and this is re recalibrated to, um, uh, sorry, my camera work sucks. Um, 440. So let's, uh, let's re redo it. Okay.
Okay, I think you get the picture. None of them are lighting up. I mean, none of them, none of them match with 440. So, um, this has convinced me that 432 is superior to anything else because right when that, like, you know, uh, the A note came out, uh, um, yeah, let me just, I'll just stop recording.